You've seen me escape a daycare. You've seen me escape a prison. But have you ever seen me escape a daycare prison? Well, that's what's happening today, my pals, because Baby Barry is in charge and he is not happy with us. Don't be fooled by those cute little eyes. He is nothing more than a self-appointed authoritarian in a diaper. Well, your reign of terror ends here, Baby Barry, for I am in the vent. Does that say keep punching? What, punch the vent? Oh, well, I guess I could keep punching. Ooh, that was kind of satisfying. I'm guessing you're probably wondering how Baby Barry ended up taking charge of this daycare and turning it into a makeshift prison. And I'd be wondering that too if I hadn't seen it all play out before my very eyes. I guess the first time that I realized there might be some trouble was when I found out that Baby Barry is the son of the daycare owner. So he kind of thought he was better than us, thought he was better than all the other kids, had a bit more authority. Oh, why am I up here? Didn't mean to go up here, I meant to go inside the vent. There we go. Anyone else a little bit worried that we haven't run into Baby Barry yet? If you suspect that he might be right around the corner, give this video a thumbs up, and in the meantime, I might get myself a little refreshment. Unless I have to pay for it, in which case, the confrontation begins. It's him, the little guard, the tiny dictator. He may still have a soother, but he is deadly with that nightstick. Do not crawl, do not walk, you gotta run! <laughs> okay, too late. Oh, hey, pals, just gotta warn you, we got a baby over here with an overdeveloped sense of self-importance. He's got a uniform, he's got a lot of opinions, he thinks that if it's nap time for him, it's gotta be nap time for everyone, and oh no, he can climb the stairs, since when can he- <gasps> Oh, he's retreating. Oh no, the cells! This is where baby Barry puts the kids who he thinks have been very, very naughty. Who gave you the authority? And look over there, the most evil prisoner cell! That's where baby Barry puts the kids who won't share their treaties with him at snack time. I tried to explain to him that that's not evil. It, obviously, it's nice to share your lunch, but you're not obligated to share with Baby Barry. Uh-oh, you've got a bit of an obstacle. I'm sacrificing myself for the greater good. I'm throwing myself into the fold. I'm gonna get that button, and oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to escape him, though? Gotta get to the stairs. But he can climb the stairs, just gotta get up the stairs, and okay, how'd I do? I'm too scared to look behind me. I know Baby Barry is just a baby, but he's very authoritative. Into the vent, and oh, down through the vent, and where are we now? Oh, of course, the toilet. Where else would we end up? A little bit concerned because this usually ends with me flushing myself, and okay, that's a stink cloud. What is happening in the. Ew, gross! Thank goodness there's this hole in the floor. I was so worried I was gonna have to flush myself down the stinkiest toilet I have ever seen. Well, okay, looks like the toilet literally fell through the floor, and where are we now? <gasps> Look at that green glow. It's like bioluminescent algae or something. There I was thinking I was just gonna end up in a regular regular sewer again, but it turns out I have discovered a unique ecosystem. Not me starting this obby trying to escape a baby daycare prison and ending up a biologist. Oh, okay, so the bioluminescent algae, it stings. My first discovery, it is very dangerous, and what am I supposed to do with this bridge? Oh my gosh, did you see that? It was like the planks came together at the exact right moment. That was so cool. And what's with the glowing skull doorway? That's a bit scary, baby Barry, and oh my gosh, it's very scary. What is this place? There's blocks and crates and some sort of machines. Be careful, says the floor. What do I need to be careful about? Oh my gosh, okay, that's it. That's definitely what I need to be careful about. Keep your arms and legs inside because we've got imminent danger. There it is, rolling molten danger. I gotta say, this whole tunnel system down here is pretty impressive, especially for a baby. Obviously, I do not agree with what Baby Barry is doing here, but I must give him credit for his effort. But Baby Barry needs to learn that just because his parents own the daycare does not mean that he's in charge and does not mean that he gets to tell everybody what to do. Speak of the tiny devil. Okay, Baby Barry, your reign of terror here is over. Oh. Why does it look like he's wearing some sort of wrestling mask? <laughs> ah, scary baby! My brand new Kawaii Kinicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Okay, so Baby Barry does not seem like he is open to feedback at this time, so I might just try to escape him because I don't want to be caught on the other end of that nightstick again. And oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get out of here? How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to go when he's chasing me? Okay, um, he's quite fast. How am I supposed to do this? Oh no! I think the wrestling mask has only made him faster. Oh, it opened the door. Okay, gotta get through and up the stairs to safety. Surely he can't get me up here. Oh, he's gone. When Baby Barry told the whole daycare that he wanted to play pretend and he would be playing the prison warden, I really did not think he was going to take the game this seriously. A big surprise to me and oh my gosh, okay, can I just sneak around him? 
into the darkness and oh no, I fell through a void. Help, I'm falling into nothingness with a beautiful Ooh. view. All right, not sure what the point was there, but I am moving on because I see what looks like a lift and I love a lift. I hope it will bring me up to the more daycare section of the daycare, not this like weird underground lair that Baby Wobby has created. Oh, here we go. Look, cafeteria and security training. That's more what I'm talking about. Gotta say the daycare really did look a lot more friendly before Baby Barry did his like prison makeover. This looks hard. Might actually need a speed cola for this one. Oh yeah, that's refreshing. Woohoo! Speedy on my feeties. If I can run this fast, maybe I can find the owners of the daycare. Something tells me that they might not be very happy to know that Baby Barry has turned the entire daycare into a prison. I don't think that he asked permission for that. I think he went a little bit off script. I feel like the chances are pretty high that they will arrive back at the daycare, see what Baby Barry has done, and be like, Ooh, bad for business. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Sorry, that's, that's the speed cola. So like I was saying, it started out small. Baby Barry was just being a little bit bossy, telling all the other kids at the daycare what to do. He was hogging the digger in the sandbox, saying he was the only one allowed to use it. Every time we played hide and seek, he said that he got to be it. One time, he even said that Pizza Day only applied to him and everybody else had to eat Antonalog. And finally, everybody else started to be like, Baby Barry, I feel like you're taking some liberties here. You're not actually in charge. This might be your parents' daycare, but it's not yours. And he's like, yeah, it is mine, actually. I am the big boss. And that's when he started wearing the uniform. I think I'm supposed to go up here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Can I jump up? Oh, wow, I'm climbing. Obviously, after Baby Barry started wearing the uniform, it was all downhill from there. He really just went mad with power. He got all, I'm the prison warden and you have to do what I say. I think the truth is that some babies are just bossy. Some kids are bossy. If you have any nightmare stories about kids at your daycare being really, really bossy, you should leave them in the comment section. Do not worry if they're not like prison level Baby Barry bossy. Obviously, Baby Barry is an extreme case. Not all bossy babies are going to do major renovations to turn a daycare into a prison. But that doesn't mean that it's not interesting to hear about people's bossy, bossy requests. I do kind of think that Baby Barry's plan backfired here because after he turned the daycare into a prison, obviously nobody wanted to stay and now nobody wants to play with him. Seriously, all anyone wants to do now is just escape this place, which is why we have to turn off all of these nasty little valves. Okay, that should do it. Have I got rid of all the very dangerous steam? Missed one. That steam is so hot, it'll just burn you right up. It's very dangerous. But I think now I've got them all. Let's see if the coast is clear. I don't see any steam. I don't see any baby berries patrolling the joint. I do hear some steam though, which is a little bit concerning, but I don't know. It must be somewhere else because I cannot see it. I'm starting to wonder if maybe baby Barry is just crying out for help. Maybe he doesn't realize that being the bossiest prison warden baby makes people not want to play with him. If you think about it that way, it's actually quite a tragic tale. Maybe there is room for Baby Barry to learn and grow. Maybe I can try to have another chat with him once I finish getting blown down this ventilation shaft. Let's all go down here at Baby Barry's daycare prison. Non-stop action, non-stop bossiness, non-stop obstacles. But where will I end up next? <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> climbing again. I just had no idea that the ventilation system was so large and cavernous. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. What am I supposed to do now? Float over to this hole and oh no. Dang, I really thought I was gonna get caught in the fan. Let's try that again. Aim for the hole and yes, success. Now, where do I go? What next, baby Bobby? When does the nightmare end? Oh, the cafeteria. Oh my gosh, is it time for snackies? Uh-oh, baby Gary the chef, it's baby Barry's twin brother Gary. He is just as deadly, but he uses a frying pan instead of a nightstick, which is also terrifying. And oh my gosh, he is really fast. Where am I supposed to go? And where am I supposed to get my pizza pocket? Baby Gary, you are not the boss of snack time, and I will prove that to you with my food zooka. Oh no, he followed me. Okay, and he can go over the counters. Thank goodness I've got the food zooka fully loaded. It's really hard to get him with the food zooka when he's also chasing me and oh no, I hit a wall. <gasps> he got me, not the frying pan. Okay, got all my leftovers fully loaded in the food zooka. I am ready for action. It's actually a great waste saving device. Anytime there's leftovers at the cafeteria, I just scrape them off into the food zooka. Something new to launch at Baby Gary. Every flavor you can possibly imagine. That one's ketchup. 
That one's bolognese. That one's chicken stock. That one's mac and cheese. He just doesn't stop. Got him with some sticky date pudding. When will the madness end? Oh, I think his health is getting low. We just gotta keep him on the ropes. Oh, wow. He exploded. Oh, wow. Baby Barry is not gonna like that. When he finds out that I have food Zuka'd his twin brother into oblivion, he is going to try to lock me in this daycare prison forever. He's gonna try to give me a life sentence which is not gonna work for me because I get picked up at 6.30. Is this how I get to the car park? Because I'm kind of hoping my mom will be here soon and oh my gosh, I'm just like free falling and that looks like a bit of a jump. Oh, she's levitating. Wow, that actually went way better than I expected. Okay, I've added up to here with baby Barry shenanigans. The time to play baby prison warden is over. We need to convert this place back into a daycare. Oh, exit. Yeah, that seems promising. Where's the exit? Oh, uh, no, not another fan. How am I supposed to... This looks dangerous. Oh, he's installed lasers. He is relentless, this baby. He will stop at nothing. I don't even know where a baby gets so many lasers, let alone the know-how to install them, especially in a challenging environment like this one. I am doing pretty good, though. Kind of proud of myself. <laughs> oh, no! Spoke too soon! The fall! The fall is far. I can totally do this, though. I'm so close to the end. I'm not gonna get fooled by a couple of lasers set up by a power-hungry baby. I wonder if I'm gonna get one more chance to talk to Baby Barry or his parents or my parents. Is anyone gonna believe me that I've spent the entire day in Baby Barry's makeshift daycare prison? Probably not. Except for you. All of you watching this, you can be my witnesses. I'm starting to think that I might actually make it out of here. That looks like the outside. Is this the way to my escape? Is it finally time to go home? Nope, it is time to fight Baby Mech Barry. Good thing I saved the food Zuka just in case this happened. Baby Barry, you need to hear this. You are not the boss of this daycare, and I do not appreciate being held here against my will, which is why I am shooting you with all of these peas and pineapples, apparently. Here comes the airplane. I think I got that one right in his mouth. <laughs> his health is going down. I might win this fight. I just need to keep up the barrage. If I don't run out of food scraps. <gasps> Whoa. The impact from the blast sent me flying. That was truly unexpected, but it looks like the coast is clear, and now I can get in the... SWAT car? What just happened? It disappeared. Why am I back inside the prison? This is not where I want to be. I want to be going out of the exit. I want to get picked up by my mom, but it doesn't look like she's here. I did make it outside, though, so love that for me. I don't want to wait, though. I guess I could make my own way home. Would love if there was a helicopter up here or, oh, no, a, a giant glowing fire ring. That'll do. I'll take this home. 